Lately I've been doing some thinking about the EPC-1000 in relation to the MacBook Air. And I came to a thought, and that thought was, you know, doesn't the EPC have a very good chance to compete with the MacBook Air in terms of an ultra-portable computer market for a very cheap price and for the same usability and reliability of the Macintosh. And I created a spreadsheet on comparing the two and pretty much what I got was the answer is yes. Now let's take a look at this spreadsheet. It's called EPC 1000 versus MacBook Air. We're going to start off with the weight the EPC-1000, and this is the Linux version, by the way. This is not the Windows version. The Windows version would be the 1000H. But we're just looking at the 1000, okay? So the weight of the EPC is 2.8 pounds. The MacBook Air is 3 pounds. Pretty similar. The display is 10 inches at 1024 by 600 for the EPC and 13 inches at 1200 by 800 for the MacBook Air. Pretty similar, um, not too much of a difference. RAM is a gig standard on the E, two gigs on the MacBook Air. And um, the E, given the fact that it runs a stripped down version of Linux, I think a gig would be fine. I don't see the need to upgrade to two gigs, but you will see soon that it can be. Now here's where it really gets interesting. Card reader. Secure Digital and Secure Digital High Capacity as well as the MMC uh, card format for the EPC. For the MacBook Air, there is no card reader. You have stereo speakers on the EPC and just a tiny little mono speaker under the keyboard of the MacBook Air. Ports. This is where it also is worth uh, noting. There are three USB ports and one VGA on the EPC versus one USB and one mini VGA on the MacBook Air. There are also audio ports I forgot to mention. Um, I didn't put those in the spreadsheet because I didn't have room for them. Audio, you have a headphone and microphone on the Ma on the EPC and just a little headphone that sort of recessed like the older iPhone on the MacBook Air. Expandable. The EPC has RAM expandable up to 2 gigs. The MacBook Air not expandable at all because the RAM that it does have is soldered onto the board. Storage. Now this is in total, okay? 60 gig solid state disk for the EPC, 64 for the uh, MacBook Air. Now some of you may be saying, well wait a moment, it's only 40. 40 is on board, but I believe it's no c extra cost to have the online storage similar to Mobile Me. Um, at least I think it's similar to MobileMe, it might not be. Anyway, it's an online storage repository and gives you an additional 20 gigs. You can get an additional online storage for your MacBook, except it costs you $99 a year. The one for the EPC is free. Battery life. Between 6 and 8 hours and for the E, and for the MacBook Air, it's 6 hours. Operating system, obviously, since we've been talking about the EPC Linux uh, version, it runs GNU Linux, and obviously the MacBook Air runs OS X. Now the price point, this is something you really need to be aware of. Listen to this. Now I rounded these up um, to the nearest round figure, okay? Here's what I got. The EPC is $700. The MacBook Air is $3,200. Okay? So you could see in that comparison that there, there really wasn't too much of a difference yet at the same time if you're willing to sacrifice maybe a few inches of screen resolution and a few gigs of space um and at the same time you'd save three thousand dollars in the process now some of you might be thinking well wait a moment the mechanical hard drive macbook air is only 1700 this is correct but we're not looking at the mechanical hard drive because then that would not be fair um, because I wanted to make these as equal as possible, so I went ahead and used the flash-based MacBook Air. So you can see, 
subtle differences. You lose a little bit on the screen. You gain. You lose a little bit on storage. You gain a few extra USB ports. You gain an internal. Mi you gain a. Mi you gain a. Blah, 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 I'm sorry, I can't speak. You gain a microphone. You, um. You know, you gain different things. Um. And you also gain a major financial savings. Once again, it's rev relatively um, some somewhere in the late two in the high two thousands in terms of savings. Like, let me see. Let me quickly do some math here. I think about twenty five hundred dollars in savings. But twenty five hundred dollars is a lot compare if you com if you see once again by the comparison these are very similar machines. For a $2,500 price difference, I say you should go with the EPC. Now, um, the EPC is very easy to use. However, one thing you sh should be noted, you cannot install extra apps on it easily. Um, you can, but you have to get into the terminal, and I think you have to exit down into the, into the main Xandros operating system to do that. But, you know, once you figure it out, you can go online and download apps... For free, versus um, having to whip out your credit card and download them on the Mac, um, or use its, you know, use its um, remote disk or an external drive. Plus, the EPC is slightly more compact. It's 10 inches versus 13 inches, which actually means it would be a little bit more um, at home on an airline tray than the MacBook Air would. Now, granted, you might not have as big a keyboard, but it's still very usable. Um, so, you know, it's it's up to you, but I would seriously consider the E if you're looking to save a few bucks, or I should say a few thousand bucks, because once again, you saw in the comparison, very subtle differences for a $2,500 to $3,000 price difference. Um, I just wanted to bring that out. Comments and questions are welcome. Uh, thank you for watching. And have a nice evening.